Hello and welcome. Today we're working on notes receivable problems. If you're new here, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We're teaching the financial accounting series. So we're in chapter 8 right now, accounting for receivables. So I've got articles and videos and playlists on the chapters, all the chapters above, and we're working our way through uh, the financial accounting chapters. Now in accounts receivable is we have bad debts. Now we're to notes receivable. And so let's get started doing a few notes receivable. Now, notes receivable, remember, is just a promissory note. It has an amount to pay and a time period. And then sometimes they have interest that's attached on the note. And sometimes the notes don't have interest and they're non-interest bearing. Now, both of them pay interest. It's just, is it specific to the note or do they discount the note uh, when they receive the note? So let's do a couple of problems on interest-bearing notes. On January 1, Shaw borrowed from Wild by signing a $120,000 12% promissory note, and the note matures in nine months. Now we're gonna make the entry for Wild, which is the notes receivable side. The notes payable side would be Shaw. Now, one thing that happens is we need to set up the original transaction is going to be where if we're wild, we're paying 120,000 to get the right to receive 120,000 plus interest. So we're going to set up a notes receivable and we're going to credit cash and the amount is 120,000. So notes receivable is obviously an asset and this is nine months, so it's going to be a current asset because it's one year or less. Now, the way we calculate interest on all these notes is using simple interest, I equals PRT, or principal times rate times time. So we're going to take 120,000 times the 12%. Now, remember, 12% is 0 0.10 as a decimal. And then, because that's an annual rate, we need to convert it to how many months or how many days. So we're going to say this is 9 months divided by 12. So if we calculate this out, what we have is 120,000 times 12% times 9 divided by 12. You can just do this in a calculator or do this on Excel. And you end up with, not a percent, but a dollar amount of 10,800. All right, so what do we do with that number? Well, that is how much interest this note will accrue. So nine months later, October 1st, we're gonna receive, if we're the wild company, receive cash, and let's write off the notes receivable. We know that's 120,000. And we just calculated the interest to be 10,800, and that's gonna be interest revenue. of 10,800, so how much cash? Well, if you're wild, you're receiving the cash of the note, the principal, plus the interest. So the 10,000 plus the 120, so you're gonna receive 130,800. Okay, let's do another one, just with different uh, numbers and dates here. On May 1st, Mac Company borrowed from Lynn Company by signing a 500,000 dollar 10 percent promissory note that matures in six months make the journal entries for lion all right so we're going to set up a notes receivable and we're going to credit cash and the amount is the five hundred thousand Now remember, we're simple interest, so we're going to take the uh, 500,000 times 10%, 0 0.10 times 6 months divided by 12, so that calculation is going to be
looks like $25,000 is going to be the amount of interest. So we're going to set up cash. We'll set up interest revenue and then notes receivable. Our notes receivable we know is $500,000. Our interest we just calculated to be $25,000. So the amount that Lynn is going to receive is a total of the 25 interest plus the face amount of 500,000. So they're going to receive 525,000. So this is just simply a loan. You're trying to make a little interest. So you lend 500,000 and so you can return back and receive 525,000. All right, what about a non-interest bearing note? Well, a non-interest bearing note still pays interest. It doesn't specifically have the note interest attached on the, the face of the note. It just says, we promise to pay, in this case, $400,000 in 12 months. Um, and so what happens is the company that receives it will discount it at some percent. All right, so the question is, it's a $400,000 non-interest bearing note. All right, so they're not going to give exactly $400,000 for this. So let's calculate the the discount. So it's 400,000 times, they're using 8% times 12 months divided by 12 months. You don't have to do this step. 12 divided by 12, right? It's just going to be 400,000 times 8%. So that's $32,000 that they're going to get as interest because ACE received the $400,000 note and they discounted it 8%. All right, so what, what entry do we make as ACE? Well, we're going to set up a notes receivable. Now, they're going to receive the $400,000, but they're not going to pay the full $400,000. They're going to pay 400,000 minus the 32,000. So they're just going to say we're going to build in interest in the amount of 32,000. So they're going to pay cash of 368,000. They're going to receive 400,000 and the difference is interest. So here we're going to call this a discount on notes receivable. So the discount on notes receivable is going to be the $32,000. So this, everything has to balance. Now, what happens if you, when you receive the cash at the very end? So we're going to set up cash. We're going to set up uh, discount on the notes payable. I'm sorry, on the notes receivable. We'll have interest. And we'll have the cash. I'm um, sorry, the, um, this would be the right off the notes receivable. All right, so the notes receivable we know is 400000 How much interest have we earned? Well, 32000 The discount on notes receivable is 32000 How much cash do we receive? we receive the uh, 400,000. All right, so discount on notes receivable, we set it up as a placeholder for interest revenue. So we haven't really charged interest yet, but after 12 months, we're gonna recognize interest revenue. So for the purpose of ACE, ACE has paid 368 and received 400,000 total. So their interest they earned is the difference. You pay 368, you receive 400, you have earned interest of 32,000. So even if it's a non-interest bearing note, then the company that receives the note will discount it and there will be interest. Um, and so in this case, it's 8%. If they discount it at 9%, then they would charge you more interest. All right, so that's how you do notes receivable. 
check out the playlist for this chapter eight accounting for receivables. So, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.